Hey, Adam. Yeah, within the last hour, the team here at the Arlington Free Clinic has started vaccinating about 50 people in Group 1B now that the state has authorized 11 health districts, including pretty much all of Northern Virginia, to start opening up doses to the next phase. It's a tremendous, tremendous undertaking. Dr. Allison Ansher runs the Prince William Health District, which is starting to vaccinate police today after the green light from the state. They're the first of nine groups of frontline essential workers now eligible to get vaccinated as part of 1B, laid out in a specific order by Virginia. Seniors 75 and up are also eligible, and Dr. Ansher says they've begun reaching out to them. I think it gives people hope. That hope extending to getting kids back in schools. Virginia teachers are allowed to get the vaccine now, with Fairfax County Public Schools saying they'll start the process Saturday, and Alexandria City Public Schools staff getting their first doses Tuesday. But we have to remember it's not the panacea. Right now it's just a tool, another tool we have in our toolbox. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser also offering that tool to seniors 65 and up starting today. We have seniors who are going to jobs, uh, essential jobs. We have seniors who are uh, helping to take care of other loved ones. Uh, we have seniors who want to see their grandkids. Vaccination is the key uh, to helping us unite with family. Maryland, however, is still in phase 1A. Now, the Prince William Health Director said their biggest challenge is that public health infrastructure is not set up to handle such a massive undertaking. Coming up at 7, hear from leaders of the clinic here about what this process will look like for their patients. Leslie. I'll take it back from you, Jess. Thank you very much.